Hockey has been such an important part of my family's life over the last 18 years, and I've been lucky enough to experience it from varying perspectives um, as a fan, as a parent, as a volunteer, uh, a leader, and most recently as a member of the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Committee. This has really driven my commitment to understanding how we continue to engage uh, our members and our broader communities, um, not only on opportunities to experience the game, but the different roles that people can play. And I think I'm most interested in how we slowly shift the narrative that in fact, this sport, this, these organizations are safe and inclusive for everyone for generations to come. So professionally, I am a change architect and a stakeholder management advisor for almost 30 years. And this has really helped me better understand why people behave the way they, they do, what motivates people's behaviors, um, and what drives people to make meaningful change. I've had the opportunity to work with many organizations in both the public and private sectors, and we've implemented small to large transformational projects and really had to work through and navigate complex stakeholder environments. So what I have learned along the way is how to drive alignment where, then, where there are competing priorities, uh, where there are some resistance, where there are some unexpected challenges and where our focus sometimes needs to shift along the way. I've also been an active volunteer in both the not-for-profit um, and public sectors with varying leadership roles and, and member roles, such as uh, with the Alberta Children's Hospital, the Mustard Seed, the Canadian Institute for Health Research, uh, the Aga Khan Foundation, Hockey Calgary, Girls Hockey Calgary, and Hockey Alberta. And of course, I'm uh, a mom to three hockey players, um, which has led me to be an active volunteer and an advocate for the numerous benefits and skills that my children have gained through the sport. But unfortunately, while they've also navigated uh, a lot of discrimination and inequity. So I look forward to bringing these experiences and perspectives to the table and working with the team to move Hockey Alberta forward. So I think I'd like to really explore the opportunities to strengthen the Hockey Alberta brand. Um, as a leading organization, not only in this province, but in Canada as a whole. Um, but in order to do that, I think we need to listen a little more, to be curious about our membership and the barriers that still persist, uh, look at fostering new connections and new partnerships and, and continue to um, strengthen our perspectives, and really then see how we can guide an action plan for our membership that provides opportunities for engagement for all segments of our population. Um, to be honest, a lot of this ties um, my thoughts around this are from unfor the unfortunate recent loss um, of Johnny Gaudreau. So once I processed that incredible shock and sadness, I was so taken back by the unbelievable amount of people and amazing stories that were shared about who he was, not just as a talented hockey player, but who he was as a person and how he's impacted the lives of so many, not only you know in the cities he grew up in, but literally across two countries. And I think this is the type of brand um, that I would love to explore on how we continue to share that and strengthen that for Hockey Alberta. The other piece really is about, uh, and building on that, is how do we really build a more future ready organization? So are we ready to handle the next challenges? I know when the, the pandemic hit in, in 2020, um, it really took us all back. Um, and many, both in the private and public sectors, um, we're taken back. So are, are we ready for whatever challenges that may come? Are our organizations ready? Are our memberships ready? Um, and do we have the supports in place to continue to adapt and reinvent who we are and what's possible if needed? 